we are going to start today with the chapter 2 for project management and uh, this particular chapter is going to give you an idea about project manager his roles responsibilities and what are the different avenues and different uh, things which is basically done by the person who is working as a project manager okay now in this particular chapter we will be having our focus on particular project manager and what are the different roles and responsibilities of that particular person so first of all let's understand functions of project manager so if particular project is assigned or if one particular project is started say for example a construction project or an uh, we can say the construction project or a installation project and for that particular project we need a person who is handling that particular project its objectives as well as the different uh, target for that particular project say for example timeline now what is the word important word is a project timeline so that timeline has to be completed the task to be completed within the stipulated time of that particular uh, say project okay so now what are the different functions that project manager has first of all he is responsible for planning planning of the planning of the different task different project activities as well as different milestones and task of the different project elements different manpower our material okay so these all planning is one of the important task or we can say important uh, responsibility of the project manager then organizing organizing of that particular task materials people resources machineries is everything you need to organize as a project manager and then directing the completion of specific project for an organization so whenever people are associated with that particular project its responsibility team of that project manager to have the complete control over the project activity and the completion of the project next we have is that they are accountable for entire project scope project team resources and at the end you can see they are also responsible for the success or failure of the project so for example if we have the project for one particular company or organization then that project manager is exclusively assigned for handling all the work related to that project as well as the person is responsible for giving out the results from that particular project now when we talk about the functions of project manager this you need to note down in your notebook that these five are the important functions of a project manager one is that leading he need to lead the project in terms of handling the team in terms of using the resources in terms of analyzing the scope and different activities of the particular project and the task which are required for that particular project then planning activity whenever there is a planning activity of particular project the project manager has to do it efficiently aise nahi ki koi plan kiya aur wo successful nahi hua to use is tarah se planning karna hai by considering all the resources all the concepts in mind to ye ek bahut hi important task hai a function hai project manager ke liye after that is staffing or basically if you are capable of doing everything but will you be able to do everything the answer is no what do you think type no in the chat box because if you are able to do it yes you are able to do it but can you do that particular work done by yourself the answer is no you need some people to work for your project so that staffing that using the manpower is one of the important characteristic of the project manager after that organizing all the resources related with the project maybe manpower may be related with the uh, resources like raw material finished materials machineries these all things are associated with the organizing then whenever people are working for a project we need someone to have a look at particular operations task activities done by these people and as well as the condition and status of that particular raw material quantity if the raw material quantity is being consumed then we need to make sure that we should have a log in which we will be having the idea ki 
out of x amount of raw material this much amount of raw material is being used right and for that purpose we need an exclusive monitoring and controlling of the different project elements project elements should be monitored continuously whether the raw material is available or not whether the raw material is in a right condition whether it is stored in a good condition whether the machineries which we are using are in uh, proper operating condition okay so these all activities of monitoring and controlling is to be done by the project manager okay moving ahead with this we are going to the very important topic that is team management whenever we have people around us we are considering them as a team so when we talk about the team management that project manager has to get the things done from the team okay so now the team management i hope i am audible now just type yes in the chat box so now managing the team hello hello i hope i am audible to you so managing the team is one of the very important task of a project manager and how these all activities are done is given here i will just uh, go through this an essential part of a project manager's role is to assemble and lead the project team this requires an excellent communication people and leadership skills this is very important he has to communicate properly with the team understanding the needs and requirements of the people and then leadership skills related with taking the decision and getting the things done from the team similarly it as well as a keen eye for other strengths and weakness if someone is having a strength for one point particular work or one particular task or one particular activity that skill has to be utilized that strength has to be utilized and using that particular skill of that particular person for our project activity is going to give the good results okay this is what is all about the leading capacity then once the team has been created the project manager assigns the different task the task also comes with a deadline and it provides the necessary resources similarly we have to meet regularly the members so that we can understand by what time we are going to complete or finish this particular project similarly whenever there is a project task which are happening those task needs a proper and open communication because if someone hide certain data or if some person is hiding one particular activity from the uh, task or uh, members or a uh, project members then there will be a chances of failure of that particular project so next time when we talk about the leading the project it means we have to communicate we have to handle we have to take our team for the desired objectives of the project the next is a important part of a project manager's role that is proper planning because if we don't have a proper planning we will not able to get the result or we are not able to complete the purpose of the project similarly the plan should reflect on the total scope of the work not only as our daily work but as a whole scope of the project to be considered similarly that project manager has to understand logical sequence of the various activities for completion and the resource allocation similarly standard procedures as well as sometimes there are risk factors which are related with the project that all things should be considered by the project manager next is staffing i hope it is uh, visible to you okay so staffing is related with the human resource plan whenever there is a activity done by that particular person or that particular team the whole human resource plan is coming into picture we cannot just assign certain number of people to the project only for the sake of keeping the project on timeline but we have to consider what exactly the need of the people how many number of people are required and for that reason we are providing this particular process of hiring the eligible candidates then giving them a specific positions and as per the position they will be having the scope for their work so that we will be going to evaluate their skills knowledge and then we are offering them specific job role basically it is not like that if there is a project we have to employ everyone it is not the case we will be selecting the people who are associated with particular skills knowledge set and that skills and knowledge is basically helping the team to get the things done so ye 
बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर है जिसमें हम मैन पावर को सिलेक्ट करके हमारे प्रोजेक्ट में उनसे काम करवाने के लिए उनको ट्रेन करते हैं उनको हैंडल करते हैं नेक्स्ट इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सो वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट द प्रोजेक्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज अ प्रोसेस वेयर द डिफरेंट अरेजमेंट डिसीजन दे आर टूक फॉर द प्रोसेस एज अ पार्ट ऑफ प्रोसेस ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट नाउ वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द प्रोजेक्ट ऑर्गेनाइजिंग लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी वॉन्ट टू कंस्ट्रक्ट सर्टन से फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी वॉन्ट टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द अर्थ पीट ओके अर्थ पीट कंस्ट्रक्ट करना है ऐसा एक प्रोजेक्ट है और वो प्रोजेक्ट में हमें कुछ मटेरियल्स का हमारे साइड पे लेके जाना जरूरी है और उसके लिए व्हीकल का अरेंजमेंट करना है सो दीज ऑल माइक्रो थिंग्स कम इन अ एरिया ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सो दैट पर्सन विच हु इज अ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर शुड बी प्रॉपरली यूजिंग द ऑर्गेनाइजन स्ट्रक्चर ऑल्सो एलोकेटिंग द ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज फॉर दैट पर्टिक्युलर वन टास्क ओके वॉट इज अन टास्क वन टास्क इज अ सक्सेसफुल कंप्लीशन ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट देन वी हैव मॉनिटरिंग एंड कंट्रोलिंग सो इट्स अ कंटिन्यू Continuous tracking, review, adjust, and report. This is the technique. Now, what do you mean by this? We are continuously tracking what exactly happening in our project. Then we review it, whether what what we have observed, whether that is correct or not, whether that is uh, related with our targets or not. Then we get an adjustment phase. Now, what do you mean by this? When the project is going out of the, say, for example, plan, or if it is going out of the direction, then we need to take them back. <clears throat> to the adjust by adjusting the project activities okay then report for that particular all activities with the project performance now when we consider every task with the project manager and his team is taking or completing or finishing whether it is on time delay time or it is completed say for example before time so all these activities play a very important role for example one particular manufacturing process requires 10 days okay and that 10 days work is being completed in a uh, say for example uh, five days and all the material is be, is now ready then we will be having then we will be having that particular uh, material ready but now we have the problem of where to keep that material ओके सो नो फाइव डेज के लिए हमें वो मटेरियल को किधर ना किधर रखने के लिए हमें क्या होगा प्रॉब्लम होगा तो ये सारी चीजें ये सारी चीजें हमारे पर्टिकुलर हम बोल सकते हैं कि प्रोजेक्ट के टीम को इसका ध्यान देना बहुत जरूरी है तो ये कब होता है पॉसिबल व्हेन वी हैव द मॉनिटरिंग एंड कंट्रोलिंग एट आवर कंट्रोल सिमिलरली ये जो हम प्रोसेस कर रहे हैं वो एक इम्पोर्टेंट प्रोसेस है जिसकी वजह से अगर हमने कोई चेंज इम्प्लीमेंट किए है तो वो चेंजेस की वजह से प्रोजेक्ट के परफॉर्मेंस पे क्या इफेक्ट हुआ है ये हमें पता चलता है नाउ सिमिलरली बिकॉज ऑफ द मॉनिटरिंग एंड कंट्रोलिंग एक्टिविटी इट इज इम्प्रूविंग द प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड इफिशियंसी सो व्हेन द प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड इफिशियंसी इज बीइंग इम्प्रूव द प्रोजेक्ट विल गेट कम्प्लीटेड इन देयर डेड लाइन द टास्क डेड लाइन इज फॉलोड एंड अल्टीमेटली द प्रोजेक्ट इज बिकमिंग सक्सेसफुल डे बाय डे बिकॉज वी हैव अ पर्टिकुलर डेट बाय विच we should complete the project and when that particular date is coming near the project activities task should be completed at that particular faster pace so it is very important so that they can take advantage of different opportunities and make the changes for example if some projects are not completed on time then there are penalties and to avoid from those penalties those different new expenses because of the delay in the project, Project or we can say not successful project management task. That time we need to avoid this crisis management. For example, recently we have uh, faced in our college, right? And during that time we need to have our team of students to deliver some merchandise. For example, hoodies to the student. Now that project is delayed. Sometimes using extra manpower also there are certain problems associated with that activity. So if we can. imagine that we have uh, monitored we have controlled or we have done all these six step or uh, five step of project manager in that activity we could have save the havoc or we can say <laughs> we can uh, take our project in a success
successful fashion okay now what is the scope of this particular pmbok now it is a project management body of knowledge it involves certain step where you will get an idea about the different approaches for the completing the project managers role as well as function okay so these are the very important tasks which we need to understand now before that everyone type in the chat box or if you have the notebook what are the five functions of a project manager type in the chat box okay everyone go ahead type the functions of the project manager in the chat box everyone humne abhi dekhe na five function chat box mein likho okay very good so leading planning monitoring controlling organizing okay so moving ahead with this let's understand this project management <coughs> body of knowledge now what exactly it is essentially project controls is a series of tools that helps to keep a project on schedule it is very important because uh, keeping our project activities on schedule is reducing our losses reducing the losses which are related with the delay in the project so if the project is becoming delayed there are various losses which could happen for example we want to deliver certain number of product manufactured and delivered to say for example different country and for that country there should be certain transportation mechanism okay by which we are transferring or transmitting that particular product and if the product is not ready on time then how the next uh, you know task is going to complete and if it is not then we need to pay the penalty for example we have one particular ship or a container to be traveled from india to middle east for example during that time uh, particular consignment is not uh, taken to the port and it is not uh, you know ready to be given uh, to be placed in that particular container then what happens that container ka jo bhada hai container ka jo rent hai wo hame alag se dena hoga and that is what the loss is all about not only this this is a just an example but beyond this there are again many examples by which we can understand that there is a loss if the project is being delayed and if the project is successfully completed on time then we have chances of making profit okay and that is the very important thing that we should use all the tools all the resources for keeping our project on scheduled deadline and how it is going to happen how it is going to be possible it is going to happen only because when we have good people skill and project experience okay now let's understand what are the different project control process factors which is focused on so it is first point that is measuring the planned performance and actual performance so if we have a performance of that particular project we have to understand what we have planned if we have the if we have the plan of completing one particular activity in say five days then we have to compare it with the actual performance ki humne wo kaam 5 din mein kiya kya ya hamari team ne wo kaam kitne dino mein kiya to hamare paas ek number aayega ki ye aayega samjho 10 din to jo kaam humne 5 din mein plan kiya tha wo hamari team ne kya kiya hai दस दिन में कंप्लीट किया है तो अभी हमारे पास फाइव दिन का क्या हो गया डिले हो गया सिमिलरली कभी कभी ऐसा भी होता है कि पांच दिन का काम है और वो टीम ने हमारा चार दिन में ही किया है So, ये हमारा एक्चुअल परफॉर्मेंस है और वो हमारा प्लान परफॉर्मेंस था तो अभी हमने देखा कि प्लान परफॉर्मेंस से एक्चुअल परफॉर्मेंस जो है वो अलग होता है और उसी की वजह से हमें ये आइडिया आता है एक्सपीरियंस आता है कि अगली बार जब ये पर्टिकुलर परफॉर्मेंस रहेगा ये पर्टिकुलर टारगेट रहेगा तो हमें इस प्रोसेस को इस तरह से कंट्रोल करना है ताकि पांच दिन में किया जाने वाला काम दस दिन में ना हो इतना डिले ना हो और चार दिन में भी वो जल्दी जल्दी भी खत्म ना हो कि उसका क्वालिटी खराब हो तो ये दोनों तरीके से उस प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर को सोचना होता है कि उसका प्लानिंग क्या है और उसका एक्चुअल परफॉर्मेंस क्या है ओके यहाँ तक क्लियर हो गया <coughs> अब ये कैसे समझेगा तो ये समझेगा ऑन गोइंग एसेसमेंट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट परफॉर्मेंस टू आइडेंटिफाई एनी प्रिवेंटिव और करेक्टिव एक्शन नीडेड तो जब भी कोई हम देखते हैं कि किसी ट्रैवल को हम जाते हैं या किसी दूर जगह जाते हैं तो वहां पे अगर हम खुद के व्हीकल से जाते हैं तो हम देखते हैं कि फ्यूल बराबर है कि नहीं एयर प्रेशर बराबर है कि नहीं टायर्स में तो इसी प्रकार से हम हमारे ऑनगोइंग प्रोजेक्ट का क्या करना चाहिए असिस्मेंट करना चाहिए सिमिलरली वी हैव टू कीप ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन रेडी अबाउट अवर प्रोजेक्ट आउटपुट एंड एसोसिएटेड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सो दैट अगर कभी बीच में प्रोजेक्ट के एक्टिविटीज के बीच में अगर किसी ने कुछ जैसे रहता है ना ऑडिट रहता है 
बहुत सारी चीजें रहती है जिसमें टाइमली इन्फॉर्मेशन का मिलना बहुत जरूरी होता है तो वहां पर ये सारी चीजें हमें क्या होती है काम में आती है देन वी हैव वी वी आर डूइंग दिस पर्टिकुलर इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड स्टेटस अपडेट ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट फॉर फॉरकास्टिंग एंड मेजरिंग द प्रोग्रेस सो इफ वी हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट वन पर्टिकुलर बिल्डिंग देन फॉर दैट कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ बिल्डिंग वी हैव डिफरेंट माइल कि हमें ये करना है हमें ये करना है इसके बाद हमें ये एक्टिविटी करना है और इनका अभी प्रेजेंट स्टेटस क्या है कि हमारे बिल्डिंग साइट पे कंक्रीट मटेरियल आया है क्या हमारा डिजाइन जो है वो अप्रूव हो चुका है क्या ये सारी चीजें हमें क्या करनी है ये हमारे शेड्यूल के अकॉर्डिंग चल रहा है कि नहीं चल रहा है इसका हमें रिकॉर्ड रखना है ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर स्टडिंग फॉर योर सेमिस्टर एग्जाम देन यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई की हमारा पूरा सिलेबस कवर हो चुका है कि नहीं हमने क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स को नोटबुक में लिख के उसका प्रैक्टिस किया है कि नहीं तो ये सारी चीजें इसमें आ जाती है देन लास्ट वन इज फॉरकास्ट दैट अपडेट करेंट कॉस्ट एंड प्रोजेक्ट शेड्यूल सो समाइम्स प्रोजेक्ट गेट डिलेड जैसे हमने देखा मेट्रो रेल का काम चल रहा है यहाँ पर मुंबई में राइट डू यू एग्री विद मी जस्ट टाइप यस इन द चैट बॉक्स लेट सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू एग्री विद मी जस्ट टाइप यस इन द चैट बॉक्स सो ये जो मेट्रो का काम चल रहा है उसका जो प्रोजेक्ट है वो अगर डिले होता है तो इमीजिएटली वो डिले का जो इफेक्ट है वो आपके ट्रेन के टिकट मतलब मेट्रो ट्रेन के टिकट के कलेक्शन के अमाउंट के ऊपर होगा मतलब अगर पहले दिन ट्रेन का कलेक्शन का अमाउंट अगर 10 लाख का टिकट का सेल होने वाला है तो वो एक दिन से डिले हो जाएगा तो जैसे ही वो एक दिन से डिले हो जाएगा तो आपके जो सेल का जो एक लाख रुपए का या जो दस लाख रूपये का वॉट अमाउंट है वो आपसे आपके नुकसान में उसको गिना जाएगा ओके सो ये ध्यान में रखी है कि जब भी प्रोजेक्ट कभी डिले होता है तो उसका कॉस्ट जो है वो हमारे प्रोजेक्ट आउटकम से या प्रोजेक्ट के ऊपर इसका इफेक्ट होता है सो आई होप आई एम ऑडिबल टू यू ऑल तो मूविंग आइड विद दिस मॉनिटरिंग द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ एनी अप्रूव चेंजेस और स्केड्यूल इन अमेंडमेंट मतलब वेन एवर वी आर हैविंग दिस मॉनिटरिंग प्रोसेस रेडी वी विल बी गेटिंग द अप्रूव चेंजेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर अगर हमें कलरिंग करते वक्त या कोई पेंटिंग का काम है और हमें पेंटिंग के लिए व्हाइट शेड का नहीं मिल रहा है मटेरियल तो थोड़ा सा ऑफ व्हाइट शेड का मटेरियल यूज करने का ऐसा अगर डिसीजन किया है तो उस प्रकार से तो उस प्रकार से हम क्या कर सकते हैं वो पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट को अप्रूव चेंजेस में ले सकते हैं नाउ स्कोप ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट में क्या क्या आता है वो हम देखते हैं सबसे पहला है मैनेजमेंट ऑफ स्कोप मैनेजमेंट ऑफ स्कोप में हम प्रोजेक्ट के ऐसे एक्टिविटीज को देखते हैं जिसमें आ, हम पर्टिकुलर एक्टिविटीज क्या क्या करने हैं वो एक्टिविटीज को हम यहाँ पे ध्यान में रखते हैं कि स्कोप ऑफ द वर्क स्कोप ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट क्या है हमें टाइम के बारे में भी ध्यान रखना है टाइम के बारे में ये ध्यान रखना है कि पर्टिकुलर टाइम में वो प्रोजेक्ट कंप्लीशन हो रहा है या नहीं हो रहा है कितने टाइम में हमें प्रोजेक्ट का डिलीवरी देना है कितने टाइम में कितने एक्टिविटीज करने हैं आफ्टर दैट कॉस्ट कॉस्ट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्ट ऑफ द जो प्रोजेक्ट एक्टिविटीज है उसके ऊपर भी ध्यान देना है देन क्वालिटी क्वालिटी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट एक्टिविटीज टास्क आउटकम रिजल्ट ये सारे के क्वालिटीज के ऊपर भी हमें उतना ही मैनेजमेंट करना है आफ्टर दैट प्रोक्योरमेंट प्रोक्योरमेंट को एक ऐसे नजरिए से देखना हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू नो अबाउट द प्रोक्योरमेंट क्या होता है प्रोक्योरमेंट प्रोक्योरमेंट इज अ प्रोसेस इन विच द मटेरियल इज बींग एक्वायर्ड मटेरियल इज बींग परचेस बाय पर्टिकुलर पीपल हु आर टेकिंग द डिसीजन ऑफ द मटेरियल and that procurement can be related with the say for example delay in that procurement uh, process if the delay is happen what happen that vendor will not provide you material on time if the material is not reaching on the site at the designated time then the procurement is also need to be managed by that particular project manager similarly there is a people who are working in the human resources right so human resources are related with the one particular say team if that team is not working uh, in terms of uh, in terms of say delivering the project on time or they have some internal conflict and that project manager has to uh, do the activities by which his human resource is working properly okay so this is called as a management of hr then project communication is also one of the important thing in which the project activities and the task of the person task of that particular person has to be done in such a way that every person
person should know what what is related to the communication of that particular project activities to the all the people okay now next is a risk management of risk that when we talk about the risk related with the project that risk is related with whether the project is going to complete on time whether that project is getting delay or not whether the uh, schedule of the project is being maintained or not so this particular management of risk is associated with the project managers duties and responsibilities similarly integration so all these activities related with the project for example project planning project organizing resource gathering then using those all resources on time getting the team working for the project these all things to be integrated what is the word just type in the chat box integrated integration of all these activities these all activities to be managed by that particular project manager okay i hope this point is clear to all of you okay so type yes in the chat box this is a inclusion of scope of project management body of knowledge so if a project manager is knowing all these things that how to manage the scope time cost quality procurement hr communication risk and after that integrating all these things then that particular project manager is becoming a successful project manager okay moving ahead with this these all points are now explained in detail what we have discussed so these all points are now mentioned here like preparing a detailed project scope statement statement that what exactly the work to be done what is the criteria of the project what are the different what are the different activities to be done under that project so these all things are associated with the management of scope now there are certain processes which are related with the scope of the management now how to identify that what task to be done by that project team say for example you have to construct the project of say for example building construction and the building construction has given you the material that you need to construct a building of a concrete material and of this much of dimension then these dimensions has to be approved by the that particular client and that project has to be given a detailed scope of work or we can say the scope of that particular project now when this uh, project scope is being managed there are certain techniques like group creativity techniques idea and mind map affinity diagram then multi criteria decision analysis brainstorming and nominal group techniques now by using all these techniques we are identifying and communicating with our team that in this project we have to do x y z a b c d these all points of work and we are managing our scope because if we know the scope of the work that time we will be knowing that these things we need to do and these things we don't have to do and because of which we will be getting an idea of understanding which of your team member or which part of your team is capable of completing the task completing the task and getting the project ready then management of time it's about activities defining the different activities then sequence of the activities if you want to do the painting of a building first that building has to be constructed the plastering of the wall has to be completed then the putty and other related activities to be done then we will be going to have the painting okay so this is how this particular activities of time management is being done okay then this all scope is given in the particular slide for related with the project management scope of book of knowledge so you need to go through these project slides and we are stopping here for today's lecture from the next lecture we will be understanding what is the role of project manager what are the different activities and roles and responsibilities of the project manager okay so we will stop here for today